hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be showing you all how to make a flyer using canva just strictly canva today um, but before I step into it and start you know talking more go ahead and click that subscribe button button turn your notification bells on so that way whenever I drop a new video whether it's hair graphics fitness or whatever you'll be notified all right so now let's get into the video so I originally made this video when I first made my original flyer this is just me remaking the flyer to show you all because the first video that I made um I thought I was recording but I guess I wasn't because I cannot find the file. All right, so this is just me recreating that flyer that I made previously. So last time I went to more depth of how I was able to, you know, get all three of my pictures and how I merged them together and deleted the background and everything. But again, it was deleted. And honestly, it was a process, so I didn't feel like going into that but next time i promise i will show you all how i do that but i didn't use canva for that step i actually used another app on my phone actually called bazart i believe that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure but i will leave the link to that app below all right so as you can see i'm using this grudge white vector and just to let you all know i get all my vectors from google I basically, and I, again, I had all of that in my last video that I thought I was recording or did record, didn't save, whatever the case was. But yeah, I had all of that in there, but for some reason, it didn't go through. So, but again, I just use Google. I type in like grudge effect, diamond, whatever it is I'm looking for, like as y'all can see. Um, I try to do the transparent background, but now that Canva has now have they have a they have it to where you can delete the background on Canva. So I don't I don't do that anymore. If I like it, I'm just gonna use that. So I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the video until I feel like I need to step in and explain. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys see pretty much that's all you can do is just really watch because um, it's just a lot of me repositioning and moving things down moving things around but again I'll explain things in some more detail as they come um, that I feel need to be explained all right keep watching and I'm gonna also speed it up a little bit only because you know certain things again it's just me moving them around all right so keep watching So I just want to step in real quick to explain this step a little bit. So as y'all can see, um, this wasn't a transparent vector. So Canva now has it to where you can delete a background. So as y'all can see, I just clicked on the picture. We click at the top left corner where it says effects and then you remove the background and now i'm just placing it where it needs to be placed 
all right so i just wanted to come and explain that in case you know i don't know if it was moving too fast for y'all but it's pretty much self-explanatory and then again i use the position tool just to position everything um another great thing about canva that i love to use is that lock that lock helps um from other things moving around because as you can see i was having a little trouble right there so when you're sometimes because when you're trying to click on or when you're trying to select something i'm sorry y'all when you're trying to select something sometimes things will move around so in order to keep things in place you lock it and it keeps it in place that way if you there's something behind or in front that you're trying to select it will allow you to select that object or vector or whatever it is all right so i just wanted to explain that as well but keep watching because you know it's about to look pretty up in here
I know y'all miss me. So again, here I am. I'm back. So for this, I'm just finding the right font. Um, and it's that's just self-explanatory. You just put the, you choose a font. You took, you pick the style that you want. Again, this is for um, my relaunch. I wanted to say that the site was now live. So that's basically what I'm putting in. And as y'all can see, I'm just fooling around with the different fonts and the styles. So that's all you have to do is just choose the one that you fit, that you feel, I'm sorry, that fits your style. And that's what you'll see me doing. I just like choose the sizing and everything, the color. So that's all you want to do. And then I felt like this. Um, word needed something to highlight it because sometimes it could be a little hard to see with pictures in the background so I did add this little object out here it's like a you know like a circular wavy whatever <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called but I just used it because I thought it would look nice with my flyer all right so just keep watching and again I'll be back So I had to step in here real quick because a little piece of the video got deleted and I'm not sure where it went. Hopefully next time we will make sure the whole video is completed and nothing gets deleted. But I just wanted to show you all how I was able to add more like things to enhance the photo like confetti. I added some confetti because of course this is a celebration. I'm relaunching. So I added some confetti and as you can see, I'm just, you know, again, playing with the positioning, putting in the back, putting some in the front because, you know, confetti is falling, it's falling everywhere, not just one place. So we want to make it look as realistic as possible. All right. And I also went ahead and added some stars because guess what? We are glistening. Yes, we are. Because guess what? We are stars. I know that was corny. I know y'all. Like, I couldn't think of anything off the top of my head. But you guys get the picture. Like, literally, you guys get the picture. So, 
And then I added my domain at the bottom, which is lushwearavenue.com. And then I added thank you for your support because guess what? They're going to see this. They're supporting it somehow, whether they're reposting it, seeing it, shopping with us, and we want to thank them. So that's basically how I did everything. I hope you guys love the video. If there's something that I missed that you don't understand, definitely leave it in the comment. I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And as soon as, I, as soon as, I'm sorry, y'all, I'll be talking mad fast. As soon as I see it, I will reply to it, all right? If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. I get it because, I mean, I ain't really explain that. It was just a whole bunch of watching. But next time, I'll be sure to, you know, be as thorough as possible and be descriptive and show you guys from start to finish how I do everything, all right? Thank you again for watching and make sure you're subscribed.